What's up guys, my name is Elden, welcome back to another art video. In today's art video, we're going to be doing a fan art video. Today's fan art is going to be on uh, the main character from Dr. Stone. Uh, let's see how it turns out, but there's a catch. Today's art video is going to be slightly different. It's going to be filmed differently. Hopefully you guys enjoy this type of filming. I wanted to do something more unique. I don't want it to be just the uh, quick speed drawing of... Uh, uh the screen and you see it go on and so forth i wanted to have some different types of camera angles that i could switch through hope you guys enjoy this all right see how it turns out all right guys to start this out i as you can see i already have this piece uh sketched out i sketched it out a couple days ago i just wanted to have it already done and ready to be inked because i just want to ink it and then i might attempt to color it or i might go gary scale i don't know yet but yeah, that's there. It's already done. So all we have to do is the inking. So let's just jump right into it. Okay. So to be honest, to be completely honest, uh, this is one of those fan arts where I haven't really kept up with this series. Like as soon as it dropped, I knew it was going to be a... Uh, Good series or a hit series or a popular series uh same thing with promised neverland i never really kept up with either of these uh dr stone or promised neverland but we're drawing dr stone so let's talk about that so yeah like i as soon as it dropped uh like the first chapter i was reading it and i kept on reading it up until the point where they pretty much freed uh that like kind of after the point where they freed that girl or whatever like they made the potion to be able to free her so and i was like okay i just i don't know for some reason it interests me but it doesn't interest me enough to actually sit down and read all of it just like uh promised neverland like it interests me but I have to just sit down and then find time to just read it, even though I have time to read. I've been reading like all these manhwas, which are Korean mangas, essentially, or Korean comics in a uh, webtoon format instead of a uh, traditional, traditional manga format or Japanese manga format. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It just kind of feels weird that I'm doing a fan art. Like I like his design and everything, but it feels kind of weird that I'm doing a fan art that I, of a character that I am not necessarily a fan of, but I do like his design. Maybe I'll become a fan in the future. You'll never know. But as of right now, not really a fan. technical difficulties so the video was like cutting in and out yeah so the video was cutting in and out uh this camera because it was only recording for like a couple minutes so it will have a few kinks and uh things that i need to find out and then fix so anyways let's get back to doing this line art I don't know what's happening, like, the tablet's, like, glitching or whatever. I don't know, dude. Because you'll see sometimes where it will just uh, skip. And that's fairly annoying. Especially when I'm doing, like, things like this. It's annoying in general. <laughs> Not just when I'm doing this. I haven't said this in a while. Kids? Yes, I'm calling you kids. I don't even know how old you are, but you're kids. I don't know. But uh, I haven't said this in a while, but remember when you're doing comic book type of art, line weight is almost everything. Even when you're going to color it in, 
line weight will make or break a certain drawing, coloring in, or painting in, whatever you're doing. Unless you're going for the style that doesn't have any line art in it whatsoever. But if you're going for the style that has line art in it, line weight will enhance your picture oh so much. So just remember, line weight is everything. And it can be nothing at the same time, depending on what style you're going for. Picture's turning out so sexy, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm about the fucking birthday. I'm about the fucking birthday. So, doing this type of video style, you'll probably see more of my insanity than uh, you probably have. Unless you've seen me on like uh, playing some games <laughs> when I'm live streaming. But yeah. Uh, like I do, I am sometimes just really quiet when I draw. Sometimes I'm not. So it's just, it's just that, like that's literally it. So sometimes it is better for me uh, to just do those uh, speed paint things. But I, I do want to do the style of uh, creating my uh, art videos because it's just, something interesting to me like i have my style for drawing like i've developed that took that's taken me years to develop <laughs> but i need to find my style of video editing because i really do love making videos uh doing drawing making videos are probably my two biggest passions i've always been making videos pretty much um so it's like it's it's just like something i like to do making videos so anything with the arts essentially making videos drawing uh singing even though i'm not really good at it um and doing like just creative things is what really brings enjoyment to me and life and this is a great break for me because uh like i have like i love doing my comic stuff but right now like i said in other videos i've been just redoing old pages which i'm on the final chapter that i need to redo and then i can do new pages yes yes i am saying yes and then i can start doing uh some more some more uh traditional artwork also because i've been missing that too because i've been doing all this digital redrawing what I do in this place these are things that I want to I want to get back to making a healthy amount of uh, traditional videos and traditional drawings also so yeah in the comic I also can't wait to start posting those again uh like new chapters uh, I will put re so the uh redrawn chapters the first two that I ever done are on my uh website currently so my uh Sionix Awakening website it's already on there uh and it's on my patreon my patreon also links it i have a patreon go check it out <laughs> go follow me on all my other social media too uh instagram twitter i don't use facebook i have a facebook one though you probably can find it on draws i don't really use it um and my gaming channel and my twitch but um yeah like it's already up there I'll update them on like webtoons, tapas, uh, and maybe another uh, viewing website for the comic once I get the first 10 chapters done. So after I finish doing the redraws, I'm going to do seven more chapters and then I will start posting them out weekly again. So you guys will have 10 weeks of uh, material to read. So once a week. Uh, if you are part of the Patreon, you will get early access to them in the, when they are done. So I'll be posting them first. Like, it'll be on the website, but coded with the passcode. Um, it's only going to be a dollar to be able to access them. Uh, so, take a dollar per month to access the uh, website.
Leave is slightly wrong. So let's just fix that. Uh, I really love how this picture turned out. Like I said in the video, I'm not really a fan of this series. I do like the series, and again, I did start it when it originally dropped. I will continue to read the series in the near future, just when I want to sit down and read that all. But yeah, it, I love how this picture turned out. I love how it turned out in my style. I just really like this picture. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video type, because uh, it is different from just the normal sweet paint. I wanted to do something different and I think this is what I was looking for uh, so yeah if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe also follow me on all my other social media uh, my Instagram Twitter uh, Twitch you can even follow me on patreon if you want to all right thanks for watching this video again hopefully you guys enjoyed the picture all right see you peace Oh!